Hi everybody, it's Scott here, and welcome to the the next uh, set of videos, the next section. And in this one, we are going to set up a couple of pickups that are going to be um, occurring in the game. We're going to do two types of pickups. The first one is going to be a health pickup, so it's pretty much a health um, health bar. Um, so if we pick up an item, it's going to add up. Um, it's going to give us health essentially. Um, and it's going to spawn into the level at a very kind of rareish rate, and then we're also going to have a a weapon increase um, fire upgrade or pickup, which will basically for a limited amount of time will enable us, enable us to shoot um, quicker, being able to kill more enemies. So let's get started. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to add a brand new prefab, and again because we're prototyping, we're just going to be using uh, cubes for this. So. In our level, we're going to go game object, create other, and we're going to create ourselves a little cube. Make sure he is on the floor. And for this, we're going to actually make this a bit smaller. We're going to, in scale, change this to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. We're just going to make sure this guy's in the bottom. I'm going to type in, let's see, uh, minus 0 0.5. Sorry, minus 0 0.75. Uh, sorry, minus 0 0.25. There we go, he's now on the floor. Um, in our resources and materials folder, we're going to just duplicate our, let's see, we'll just duplicate the player material, control D. We're gonna rename this to M underscore uh, health pickup. For the color, you go for something that's kind of healing, a healish color, uh, we're gonna go for some sort of green and under specular, we'll choose maybe uh, whatever color you really fancy. I'll go with the green as well. So, I'm going to drag um, our health pickup material onto our object. I'm going to make sure it has a box collider, which it does, and it has a mesh renderer. Um, we're not going to set a tag just yet. We might need one. Um, or actually, I will make a tag called pickups. So going to add a tag called pickups, may as well, go back to our cube, going to change the tag to pickups, and we're going to rename this to health pickup. Okay, now we're going to go into uscript, we're going to press Control and U to fire up uscript here, and we're going to make a brand new script, we're going to click file and new, and we're going to go file and save as, and we're going to save this as the health pickup script and we're not going to assign it to the level or the master game object we're just going to click on no and that will compile for us and what we're going to do is we're going to um, just to kind of show that he is there that he can be picked up we're just going to rotate the actor on the spot so we're going to add an update event so a global update and we're going to say every tick or every frame we're just going to transform uh, his rotation by um, one one degree okay so what we're going to do is we're going to type in uh, rotate we're going to rotate this by a vector three like so or let's see what other options do we have let's click here this one actually will do better um this first one float 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 let's delete that out so every tick or every uh, frame we want to rotate ourselves. So we're going to click add variables owner. So we're going to rotate himself and we just need to find out which axis. If I just hit rotate, rotate him, indeed it is on Y. And we're just going to set, we're going to click here, we're going to go Y angle and just type in one. So we're just going to go file save. That will compile. <coughs> just going to click X here. And under health pickup, we now need to just assign the script. I'm going to click add component, use script, graphs, and health pickup. And I'm going to click on play. So now in game, the, the actor now rotates. And at the moment, we can kind of walk through him. Like so. Let's make sure it doesn't kill us. That would defeat the purpose. Okay, so back into use script. Now we need to set up. Um, a trigger event or a collision event. 
just double check one thing here that our player is indeed yes he is a trigger so we need to do this via triggers um okay so we're going to add a trigger event so trigger event and we're just going to uh, expand the triggered by the instance of course is itself Sorry, my bad, we're actually doing a collision. My, excuse me. Uh, collision. Okay, where are we? On collision. The instance is itself. Add variables owner. Now we want to say triggered by, we're going to add a game object variable. So basically if, um, if anything hits this um, uh, this health pickup, something's going to happen. However, we do want to just um, filter it by just the player. So we're going to type in a tag. We're going to find the comparison. Game object has tag and node. We're going to plug that up. So on collision enter, we're going to check to see if the object that hit us, that hit the health pickup, is indeed a player. So we're going to add a variable called a string. And the string value, make sure it's not name, is player, because our player does have the player tag. So basically, the next thing that will happen will only happen if we actually, um, if it's the player that hits the, the object. So what we want to do is we simply just want to add one value or whatever the health gives you onto the, the player health. So <clears throat> all we want to do is we want to... In the search, look for add int. We want to add an integer. And this is if it has all those tags, just the player tag. And we want to take our player health, add it by one, which gives us a new result of our, our player health. And then we want to destroy the, the health pickup after. So we'll just pin destroy. And the target is itself, add variables owner like so. Now for this part, it's going to save this. We now need to get our player health instance or variable which was from an, the, the player script. So to do this we're going to go to uh, reflected and uh, let's see we are in properties and we want to look for the player script component and we want to find player health. So we're going to click that and bring it in. And under uh, two seconds here, let me just save this and double check one thing here. I just want to make sure I do this properly for you. Um, instance player, okay. Now, technically, you could just copy this, but uh, let's do this again. Uh, go back to the health pickup script, and I'm just going to select this, uh, this um, exposed variable. I'm going to click on instance. And under this, I'm just going to move my view across and I'm going to uh, drag the player into here. So now this is our player variable, LinkedIn. So whenever we, whenever the, this object collides with a player, then we're going to add this by a integer of one. So we're gonna add one health like so. And that's going to result in oops, another one of these. So we're taking the player, current player health, adding it by one, which will result in the new player health. And that's it, folks. We're just going to save that. I'm going to double check the collision actually works. Um, or if it was indeed the trigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my player and I'm just going to expose that variable. Here we have player health of five. So in, we're in the game, we've got five health. I'm going to walk over this, and that did not work, yay. Let me just switch that over to trigger. Two seconds. So rather than collision, it's actually trigger, because our player is a trigger. It's going to add a trigger event, triggered by, and just replace those.
exit out, make sure our health pickup does have the component, which it does. So we've walked over um, the object. If I just pause my game, select my player, we now have six health. Okay. So apologies about the little mix up there between collision and trigger. Um, it is because my player is a, a trigger rather than a, uh, a box collider. Um, so I just got mixed up on the two there. So let's just play that once more and we're just looking at our player health here. We're walking over the health and it gives us a brand new health and it destroys the, the object after. Okay, so with that, that is that part done. In the next one, we are then going to set up the rapid firing of the, uh, the, the weapon. Thank you.